Have you ever been to an RV show and it been an epic fail? Well, if you haven't, you're about to today. If you're not willing to post your price, I feel like I'm just getting ripped off. I don't know. It's not a good deal. This is a no for me, guys. An absolute no. So I'm really disappointed. And then when you sit up, oh, yep, I can do that every day. Oh, God. <laughs> Today, we are in Quartzsite, Arizona at the Quartzsite RV Show. We are here in front of the big tent. The big white tent. And I'm especially interested in some of the vendors that are here, because you know we're looking for some upgrades for Mr. Lemon, yeah. and hopefully they've yep. got some good options here. Yeah, and then also RV Country is the one, I guess, you know, bringing all the RVs here today, they have said to have brought 200 new and used RVs, and so we're excited to check those out. We don't know if it if it's good, if it's bad, we're going to find out together. Yeah. We actually need some new shades for our van. The ones we have, they just don't cut it. These look pretty nice. They seem like they're pretty good quality. I'm curious, have you guys ever seen these from Van and Camp? Well, that was actually something I was interested in and no one's here to give us pricing or any more information. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I found what I want from the RV. Ta-da! Come on, let's get a hot tub for the RV. Very cool idea. Well, what did you think? Other than a hot tub, there was nothing in here that I needed to buy today. And I don't think we need a hot tub for the van. <laughs> well, you don't. And we just keep smelling all the good food here. I'm like, we gotta get out of this white tent and go check out the food and the RVs. So, I absolutely love this stovetop oven, but I'm missing the thermometer, so I'm gonna have to get that today. Cool. First well, purchase. Our first purchase today. I'm actually really excited. I've wanted this for quite some time and seeing it here today, it's just super cool. So there was a bunch of vendors that I was hoping to see here today, like uh, Battleborn, Dometic, I was hoping to see them and I haven't found them yet. So yeah. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, that's crazy. But I am getting a little hungry, so maybe it's time for some barbecue. Mm. Mm. It's a spot. So good. Okay, I think we found the Class Bs. Let's go take a look at some vans. Well, this is kind of interesting. So let's see, this is a Winnebago. Oh. Now this is apparently used because this has been modified quite a bit. I like the concept. The execution leaves a little bit to be desired. It's just a piece of plywood that they've, I'm guessing, screwed down because it's anchored very well there. Could you imagine hitting that? You would hurt yourself. Yeah, that's hmm, interesting. Interesting. I mean, ah. I don't know. This is a no for me, guys. An absolute no. But let's check it out. I mean, I do like the Solus because you've got some good storage. On the passenger side, you have your sink and stove. They've got the nice little slam latches. So everything What's is that? nice and secure. This would be your cable extension. Oh, so kind of cool. The bathroom's decent size in this. So, 
You know, you could you actually could, you could stand in there and take a shower. Um, think of one this. of us has got to get in. Who okay. is it? Rock, paper, scissors? I, I, I'll just take one for the team and I'll do it. So it's kind of turned at an angle. So your feet are out when you're Wait a minute. using what? the bathroom. So, oh, okay. Privacy I mean, door. You could, I could make this work. Wait, would the toilet turn? Yeah, it'll turn this way as well. Okay. So there I you guess go. you could hide in here by yourself. Yes. Especially if, you know, you don't want to stink up the place. But it's not a bad bathroom. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting layout. Just the modifications in the back, eh, they need a little work. I don't think we have a price, which is a bummer. I don't see a price anywhere. <sighs> yeah, and these are used. Yeah, it's kind of a it, bummer. So it's the combination of it being used. There's no price listed. I, I just, I'm not a used car salesman fan, so. So you but got your two chairs. I do like these seats because they have the seat belt integrated into the seat. So when you oh. swivel, everything's right there. Those are yeah. really nice. Yeah. And this is a nice seat. This actually slides forward and back. Oh, nice. So nice. You can actually kind of slide it forward and get a decent angle. So it's comfortable. So it's, it's not a bad, it's not I a think, bad setup. I think truthfully, you're a fan of the Winnebago. Is this a Solus we're, we're guessing? <laughs> I haven't looked at the side, but I'm pretty sure this is the Winnebago Solus. Well, let's, let's check it out. It says 23 Solus 59 PX. That's what this is. Bob's a fan of the Solus. And I know a lot of people have asked us to, to show Soluses, but we need to find a brand new one for you guys. So I looked inside the door on the driver's side and it says it's a 2022 chassis, but they're saying this is a 2023. And this is pretty rough if this is one year old. I mean, we're only one month into Jan into 2024. God. I don't know. It's not a good deal. I feel like we've seen this at La Mesa. Right. I swear I've seen this exact Heimer. It's used and it's been at several RV shows. They just keep passing it around. I swear it's the exact same model. Yeah, I it's feel like we actually reviewed this one for one of our videos and cut it out because it was used. Yes, I think you're absolutely correct, but we've definitely seen this. And what's crazy is it's very similar to the Solus layout. I mean, it's on the ProMaster chassis, although it's like the European, Heimer is a European version. Oh yeah, and it says this is, it's a 19. Yes. We can give you a quick look, but what are your thoughts? The quality is not, not bad. I mean, for 2019, this is in pretty good shape, all things considered, but it, it has a pop top. It's only on the 159 chassis. It's not the extended. Yeah, that's pretty. So the bed's tiny. That's tiny. I mean, I don't think we could lay across. I think we're too tall. It would be snug for sure. I don't hate this though. It's actually kind of cute. But the materials are nice. The quality's good. Yeah. Just. You know, it has a pop top and it's a little small. Yeah, too bad there's no prices. Like, what's the deal with that? I don't know. If you're not willing to post your price, I feel like I'm just getting ripped off. It looks like a brand new one. It is brand new. Hopefully the background noise isn't too bad in this, but um, so let's step in where it's a little quieter. So we are in a Thor scope 18 a, it has the bed in the back. Oh, which is and... tiny. Okay. Someone's getting on that bed. This is literally a one person bed. Okay. Who's getting on there? I'll do it. <laughs> And I'll just be very careful with my shoes. Yeah, don't let your shoes touch anything. Oh my gosh. Not no. comfy. Here. And then when you sit up. Oh, yep. I can do that every day. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right. Let's, Give me the positives, Bob. Let's start with the positives. Well, this wasn't one of them. Uh, you can actually wash your hands while you're sitting on your bed. 
So everything that, is nice and cozy. That is not a positive. <laughs> You can open all of your cupboards and access everything while you're sitting right here. No, nope, not a positive. Um, you've got these valances that tend to fall off. That is not a positive. That is um, a major negative. You can hit your head when you get up because it's so close to your face. And not you a positive. Not okay. a positive. Well, okay. In all seriousness, the bathroom, they've actually done a nice job. You have like a porta potty that you can take out. And so you have more room to take a shower. So that's actually pretty good. I think that that's a good upgrade. Okay, um, so you found one thing, the step. The, the, is that a positive or a negative? Well, not when it's falling apart. You know, this 2023 is already falling apart. Oh, so there's surprising. That. Yeah, up here you've got this awesome seat, which is it's really very a seat and a half. vertical. It's so a seat and a half. you can't get comfortable sitting in it no matter what you do. It has this table that's already broken so there's that wait 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 you gotta tell them we're very yeah. familiar with the broken table yeah this is exactly what happened to ours so i actually ripped it out put a lagoon table mount in there much better but this is what happens in the thor dining room seat i don't even know what you call this the third row seat with the table that's what happens and i just love thor and these underpowered microwaves they keep putting in there they're great <laughs> <laughs> Thor is gonna kill us. Uh, hey, I, hey, we keep it real. We don't work yeah, for Thor. We don't work for don't nobody. Work for and just, just stop putting it in. No one, no one needs this. It's too underpowered. We need a better one. So the fridge actually isn't in a bad spot. It's kind of right here by the front door, so you can, you know, access everything there. And it does have a pop top. Not a pop top fan. We just don't need one though. And if you can hear the loud music, really sorry. But uh, let's see. And this thing on sale for $99,995, no way. Why? Is that ex is that way too expensive? That is way too expensive. Oh. This should be 85. Okay. At Fair. least in my opinion. I mean. What do I know? What do we know? We don't work for them. We don't make these prices, but it does seem too expensive to Mr. Bob. Yeah. All right, I've had enough. We need to keep looking. Let's okay. find something I like. Okay. Okay, this has been uh, pretty much an epic fail today. I'm a little disappointed because all they have is A's. I mean, the vast majority of what they have is A's. Some C's. A, a handful of C's and very few B's. And what they have, they're all used and the quality is, well, it's not great. So I'm really disappointed that they didn't have something new or even something different that we hadn't seen before, but it's shocking too because like this is such a big rv show that like they say like a million people come to yeah yeah and just for being such a big show i'm surprised at their selection now if you're interested in an a this may be a great place to come but i'm pretty much interested in everything but a's i think it's an epic fail the only win today was the thermometer and the food yes and i think i'm in the mood for something powdery, sugary, and fried. Sounds like a donut. <laughs> Maybe some fried bread. Guys, there's a beer bellies, adult daycare. Okay, so we did find Battleborn's booth. They've got this awesome fifth wheel that's got all these G2 batteries in it that is super cool but no one's here to talk to. Wow, that is a lot of batteries. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight G2. So that's like, I don't know, what is that? 2,600 watt hours of lithium power? That's crazy. 4,000 watts of solar panels? Wow. Oh, wow. Look at all the components. Super clean. I mean, you still want to use uh, them. Yeah, that is super awesome. And don't hit your head, because I almost did. Huh, wow. well, pretty cool.
Oh. Hot and super good. Wow. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I'm so good though. All right. I think we're done. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed, but. <gasps> yeah. It's okay though. At least we got to come and see it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we came. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun to walk around to see everything. Just disappointing that I didn't find some of the vendors I was looking for. And the bees, there's just, I mean, there was really no like really oh, exciting bees or even nothing, even new RVs to look at. No, I was, I was surprised. we even went and looked for A's for you guys, but there were a lot of used class A's. Yeah. Like we just didn't see anything that was like, oh yeah, okay, fine. We'll show that. So, you know, but yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all we had. That's what we yeah. came up with guys. We, we came, we saw, we didn't really conquer, we didn't conquer, but we tried. You know what was fun though? We saw a lot of you here and you came up and said hi and we appreciated every single one of you that was here at the show today and stopped to say hi. I mean, that was my favorite part, <laughs> meeting you guys. Yeah, that was really cool to see everybody. Yeah, so, so hi to all of you. <laughs> it was a highlight for us for sure, but I think that's all we have. We're leaving, right. we're done. Yeah, so. That's all we got. Until next time. Yeah. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bob's found his happy place. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>